Camping has allowed us to go on lots of learning adventures. We use a rooftop tent. But there are lots of ways to camp to suit the many styles and places that people go. So when we got the chance to visit Boreas campers and watch them get built, well... You know we can pass that up. Boreas Campers is a Colorado company that has expanded from a one-car garage to a manufacturing space in Denver and now to this awesome new manufacturing facility in Pueblo. They specialize in off-road campers for serious overlanding adventures. So we expected to see rugged construction and off-the-grid features. What we didn't expect was how well designed and comfortable these trailers are for regular campground uses too. Follow along with us as Adam Calkins shows us the campers and where they're made. We think you will agree the attention to detail and the versatility is incredible. My name's Adam. I do the sales here at Boris Campers. Happy to have you guys here and showing you guys around on the XT and the EOS 12 and all the manufacturing. Construction of the units that we build, it's all aluminum steel composite, so no mold, no mildew, no nothing like that. Um, it's an off road ready trailer, so it's got independent suspension, there's no axle, so it's got, a, got about 20 inches of ground clearance, so you can really get out there and get away from the people. I'll show you the XT here, this one's called the XT, it's got a queen bed inside. Let me turn on some lights so you can see. So a queen bed. It's got heat inside. Yep, it's kind of it's kind of like the one I saw in the video. Is it nice? Yep, let's yeah. try the one you saw. Then you got the max fan up on top so you can stay cool that way. Got a lot of storage up here so you can throw all your clothes, fishing stuff, that type of stuff up there. Yeah. The inside was much nicer than we expected. But our favorite part was the kitchen. <laughs> nice, that's fun. Got your lights here, you can dim those, you can brighten them. Go ahead and screw all that if you'd like. Okay, what? Yeah, it turns off. All the way off, you go all the way down. Oh, that is the brightest. Well, that's nice and bright, isn't and it? That is literally the darkest. Yep. Up, down, and it is off. Yep, and then you got your fridge. Look at this, buddy. So this slides out. This is kind of like, this kind of looks like a cooler. That's exactly it, but it's, there's no, you don't have to use ice. It plugs in and it runs off the batteries. Yeah. So it'll go down to negative eight up to 50, so you can freeze things in there as well, which is nice. Yeah. I so you turn it as a, a freezer or a refrigerator. Yeah, you set the temperature. Exactly. Yep, exactly. So oh, it little, locks this way too, yep, buddy. Right Watch. You push that button down, and then it slides right in and locks in. Keep going. What'd you, there you go. What'd there you go. say the empty weight is? 2,200 pounds on the XT. Um, you can load it up with about 1,300 pounds. So it's got a 3,500 pound axle. Okay. Um, it actually seems like there's extra cabinets. There is extra cabinets there. Good place to put all your kitchen items. Got your sink and your cook stove. Oh, that looks so similar. <laughs> So you can cook all your food, which is nice. It runs off the propane tank. Yep, exactly. Nice and gentle. What's that bottom one? Nothing there. Oh, okay. Yep, that one's just kind of where the plumbing and that type of stuff is. Okay. And keep, keep go ahead, go ahead and tell it clicks. Rush. Boom, yeah. good job. Over here, where you can wash off after going for the hike or the bike ride or when you catch too many fish you need to wash your hands so this is instant hot water you just turn on your propane and your water pump and turn that on and you got hot water it takes about two seconds for it to get hot so two seconds you're gonna have to like turn it on and then a couple seconds later the entire entire propane thing so it's so warm that if it went any any degrees that right. if it went any 20 degrees 10 degrees fahrenheit up, it, would, it would probably explode. Right, you don't want that to happen. So yeah. the propane fuels the, the propane heater. Propane runs the shower, cook stove, then the propane heat inside okay. the cabin as well. We got a 6500 BTU propane heat inside. So, I mean, it takes about five minutes to heat up that cabin just because it's a small space, it's fully insulated. We got an inch and a half of uh, EPS foam in between the walls for insulation. 
And then 316 composite panels on each side. Yeah. yeah. We also have a wall plate here. And this is an enclosure for the privacy. When you shower them, that folds out, drops down, so that way you can have some privacy. A lot of people put a little cassette toilet in there as well. Um, yeah. Just to, yeah. if you're off here and don't have a place to go, go to the bathroom. Yeah. Got a 100 watt solar panel up on top that keeps your batteries charged up and keeps you off grid. You have so. electricity that can plug in, even when you don't have electricity yeah. at that one camera. Exactly. Button. It'll run right off the solar panel and the batteries. So you can still plug in the tablets and the phones and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's right. And it's, yeah, I already know that something to do this. And if you're at a place with electricity, you can plug in. You can well. plug it into it. Exactly. What, what is this? So that is called the AC prep. So we have an AC option. It's a standalone unit that has a little duck toes that attaches onto oh. the, the trailer. So that way you people in Oklahoma can survive. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much to see. We missed the sink on the first look around. Would you wash the dishes? I would. You would. You'd be the dishwasher. But look where it's... Water for the sink and shower comes from this water tank. It's mounted underneath for a low center of gravity and a skid plate protects it. A self-priming water pump delivers water to the shower and sink. The XT has a full-size spare, a quick setup of awning, and a roof rack that doesn't interfere with the 10-speed all-weather fan. The roof rack opens a wide range of equipment options, including adding extra sleeping space with a rooftop tent. When you look around the XT, it becomes really obvious that it was designed and built by people with a passion for camping. It has load-bearing fenders, exterior lights, rear leveling jacks, electric brakes, a pass-through front storage box, and two cabin doors with windows that have built-in sliding shades and screens. Details like the trailer mount storage options show how well thought out the design is. Two inch receiver on the front and the back of the trailer, 300 pound weight limit. You can also put a motorcycle platform right here if you want to carry a small motorcycle. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people like this because you can put your bikes on the front of the trailer, so while you're towing, you can see them. You also don't have to take them off the back ha or the back two inch receiver to open up the back hatch. So that way it's just always sitting here if you're not ready to go biking, but you want to use the kitchen, you don't have to take them out to open up the kitchen. So this is pretty unique to us in the way we build the XT. There is no doubt the XT would be fun and comfortable to camp in, but also shines in getting to camps others can't. It has Cruise Master axleless independent suspension, giving it a high ground clearance, making it capable of tackling terrain you wouldn't want to trek with a standard camper. It's no ordinary trailer hitch either. So this down. comes in, you back your vehicle in, this pin goes on, then you just push that button, and then it'll go 90 degrees, whichever way, lets that suspension do its job instead of a two inch ball that's gonna bounce along. And then it's really easy to detach as well. Slides out, and like I said, boom, and you're on. Additional options include battery and electrical system upgrades, roof rack additions, and additional propane storage. There is an amazing amount packed into this compact platform, which makes it easy to tow, set up, and store. So we can move this, so it's only 2,200 pounds, 210 pound ton weight, so really easy. Then when you don't want it to move, just pop that, yeah. and now it's also an nice and top. Everybody. Give it a pull. Oh, yeah. Nice and There you go. You're strong. <laughs> Looking for something bigger? Their newest model is the EOS. It is still rugged enough for overlanding and versatile enough for traditional campgrounds. This one is a new product. We're just launching. We got a couple of them out on the highway. This is called the EOS 12. This one's about 3,750 pounds. It's got a 50 gallon water capacity. It comes with two lithium batteries. Option to add two additional 
Comes with 300 watts of solar up on top, option to go up to 500 watts. It's got the Truma 96 liter dual zone. So this one can be a fridge and a freezer. So you can be have both, you can have your you know, meat, lunch meat, and then all your frozen goods on one side. Got a little prep space here on the on the side. Um, nice for the kitchen items. Got a nice stove top, 50 gallon water capacity, 270 degree awning comes with it. You can add walls to this if you want to completely enclose it, which is nice for the windy days. Um, it's got an independent suspension as well, but it's got airbags. So you can adjust the suspension up and down, and I'll show you that here in a few minutes. Um, pass through pantry here, so you can access your kitchen items from inside and outside. Um, inside, I'll show you, watch your head coming in. So wait, you can actually enter. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, if you want to sit down at the dinette, there. We got a bathroom here. So a small cassette toilet inside yeah. and outside you shower. You don't even need to set off your own porta potty. Exactly. Nice dinette, queen bed. This side of the dinette slides into another full bed. And then there's an optional bunk as well. So you can sleep up to five in this unit. Um, yeah. The bed is unique. It goes up. So that way you can access your fridge from inside if you're sitting at the dinette table. If you want to grab a beverage or anything like that. We got the Truma heat and hot water system over here. So the Truma runs off propane or the electric. So if you run out of propane, you can still use heat and hot water. The unit, all the plumbing is inside and the tanks are heated. So you can use this in the winter time, including the water system. The pop tops up, or the pops up just over the foot. So when it's down, you can't quite stand in here. Um, when it's up, it's six foot six. Um, this one has a 12 volt AC as an option, so it'll run the AC off of the lithium batteries. And I mean, there's also, there's also this. Yeah, so that's how you control the whole system. So I'll show you this. So this is the overall camper right here. So you can, if you wanna shut off all the lights, you just hit that. It'll show you how much solar panel you, uh, solar panel volts that are coming in. You can control your lights in a little bit more detail. This is all the outside lights. It'll actually tell you which ones are on as well on this little tablet here. Then you can dim them, you can brighten them. Um, you can do your climate control. So this is like your AC or your heat. This is your water system. So it's telling us we have 82% fresh water, none in the gray water right now. This is your suspension control. So let's step outside. Adjusting the Cruise Master Independent Air Suspension is as easy as pushing buttons on the touchscreen controls. And you can go back up, go up on this side. It's also got auto level, so you can automatically level the trailer when you get to the campsite. Like, if they do it, it's like, it's like on its side. Exactly. Yeah, it's you can level it and get back up. up. Exactly, you got it. One, just want to rinse off the legs, you can do that. Um, this is your all electrical system, so it comes with two lithium batteries. Option add two additional, so you can go up to four of them. You can plug in an additional solar panel if you want to plug one in that you can kind of chase the sun throughout the day and kind of set on the ground. Well, yeah, you can and you have a big toolbox. This one's too big to move by yourself, you know. <laughs> Is this pass through as well? It is, yep. Hey Alex, can you open the door on the other side and tell me hello? Look through here. It's like a tunnel. That's big enough for you to sleep in. Exactly. <laughs> you don't need a bed. You can sleep right in there. And I'm going to suffocate from no oxygen. <laughs> Remember to keep one door open when I'm sleeping in here. Okay. The XT model is well equipped. But the EOS takes those and adds additional capacity and throws in even more features, including a speaker system. The EOS is capable of taking a family of five deep into the backwoods. You can get away from it all without leaving it all behind. Boreas campers are made in Colorado 
and it starts with a steel chassis and an aluminum exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is actually aluminum, but the chassis is steel. Um, chassis, yep. We do a lifetime warranty on the chassis and the exoskeleton because we weld them in house and we know how good they are, and we've never had one break, so that's good. <laughs> so it goes to the next station, and it goes to electrical after that. And then it goes to kind of the soft goods, awnings, that type of stuff. And then finally it gets detailed and then taken out of the shop and it's ready for delivery. I can tell them building. no detail yet. Yeah, that one's just getting going too. Um, we can build one in about two days is what it takes us. So we're really getting them out efficiently what? at the new location in Pueblo. So once the chassis is built, or including the chassis, it's two days. So once the chassis comes back from getting powder coated. Okay. Yes. Okay. So chassis, they get built, then they get sent out to get powder coated. They come back to us. And once it gets ready for the walls to get put on, one to two days to get through the stations. And then the yeah. one at the very end. That one's getting close, isn't it? Yeah. This one at the very end is the closest thing. I'll show you one that's even closer. Let's go this way. Oh, even closer. Uh, okay, this guy's number two. This one's pretty close. This no. one's really close. Okay, this one's actually number two. Okay. And this one. We visited on a Friday when the production crew was off. That meant we missed seeing some of the activity, but we got to see where all the work takes place, and it made it quieter for filming. It also meant Alex could explore more without being in the way or a safety concern. Each camper is built to order, which means it gets a build order sheet. That way, the crew knows which options to install at all the stations. The base models don't skimp on features, but the options allow buyers to customize their camper. Not only was it great to see the campers, it was great to see where and how they are made. Their passion shines through from start to finish, and I love showing Alex businesses like this. It's a great illustration of what's possible when someone sees a need and pours their vision and sweat into meeting that need. I hope that visits like this inspire Alex and others to dream big and have an appreciation for the amazing possibilities and the people who make it all happen. Adam, thanks for having us out and showing us your campers. They are awesome. See you on our next adventure.